Hello and welcome to the Six Acre Farmstead. Today is April 10th, 2018. Um, I think we might have moved out of winter. We just had some cold snaps, a little bit of snow the last few days. Um, but we're moving to some 50 degrees, 60s, and this weekend supposed to be up in the 80s. Um, extended forecast has it going into 50s and 60s, so we are in B season here. Um, in anticipation, my hives are doing decently. They're building out. Um, and for today's video, that's the plan. Hopefully, the feral colonies are building out. Today, I'm going out and setting up swarm traps. Um, last year, I had six swarm traps that were built. I put out a, uh, four of them, did okay with them. Uh, this year, I got a couple more locations locked down. I actually built four more swarm traps. So I have a total of 10 that I'm gonna put out this year. Uh, plan is to, uh, in the same, same design, but plan is to um, bait with lemongrass. So I have this uh, now essential oil lemongrass. So four drops, four drops on a Q-tip, throw that in a baggie in the bottom of each box here. The, all the boxes have either been used as nuke boxes prior or um, if they were new, I coated them with beeswax. I just melted on beeswax and brushed it down all the inside of these things there. Um, the other thing that we're, I'm going to do this year, and um, this, is the, this is my test phase from my uh, concept of last summer, is the unknown swarm lore is the brood burgers or the, the renderings of melting down wax. So this is this stuff here. I'm going to bring it to you. Still made it, so, oops. <laughs> okay, this stuff still made it, real dark. Um, smells like, I mean, brew comb. So I'm gonna, I've got a bunch of this. I'll probably put a couple of these patties in each of these uh, swarm boxes. Um, so I got the fair, I got the, the pie box, the, 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 the nuke box, the, the scent. I'm trying to do that. I've got the lemongrass oil. We're going to try because I'm not baiting any of these with uh, brood comb this year. I'm using strictly the uh, the brood burgers or the uh, the the old, the old comb. The, so which call them brood burgers? What you do with that? Um, but every single one of my hive, you know, the used frames, new frames, will have one inch starter strips that are. I've got uh, wax. I mean, they have. Just reuse cleaned up pins, uh, foundation pins in each side of these things here. Uh, just nailed down the cleat and I put a, some wax on both sides to help, to help secure this in place here. Um, prior use of these one inch strips here, I've had the bees, it's controlled. I haven't had any kind of wonky comb or anything. They've actually drawn it straight down here. So that's, the con that, that's what I want to uh, hope to strive for there. This gives me plenty of space inside there. If there's a large colony that has to fit in the box, um, all I need to know is the bees are in there. The other thing that I've done this year is all the swarm traps here are all labeled. Uh, this one here, 6A9, the six acre nine box. Um, for me, in the locations there, I also have my phone number on, on the bottom of there. Yeah, it's, it's covered up. Um, but I'll have those exposed, that the phone number is exposed. So basically, when I hang these things out, if so, tell the property owners um, who've got permission from, can't find my number, just look on the box. Just tell me what number, um, and let, and say, hey, there's bees going in this thing, and great, it'll help me out there. So I'm going to log down where the locations these things are. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind with the swarm traps is, here it is in the early season. If you're not aware of this, if you catch a hive, if if you catch a colony in your swarm box, and it's like late April, early May. Transfer the bees and put the thing back up because there's a good potential where that thing came from. You may have an after swarm, um, especially if it's in a tree or a smaller, ca a smaller cavity and those things build out. So uh, I had that happen to me last year where I took the swarm trap down, didn't think about putting another one back up. And I got a phone call uh, later, or I was told later during the summer, oh yeah, another swarm came out and then you missed out. Uh, my my uh, son-in-law called somebody else and he picked him up. I lost out on another colony, but hopefully I'm gonna not have that happen again this year. Um, so rebate your swarm traps. So in this video here also, we're gonna go on a little bit of a road trip. We're gonna go to a couple of locations there. I'll show you how I hang them up in the tree uh, and get them installed and talk about, and I don't, being I'm using a GoPro, I don't have the zoom capability. I hope to buy a, a camcorder later and give me some zoom capability. Um, but 
We're gonna go check the, to see, hopefully the, the tree itself, where I know the one colony is. Um, that should be flying out today if the CB is good. We know they made it through the winter. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and set this thing up. I know of uh, another location, we'll probably go set that up also, but the colonies, this one, the second colony's in a house, uh, in the wall of a, wall of a house. Um, it's a abandoned house, I haven't really got a hold of the property owner, but I, I know the next door neighbor, so we're gonna set one up there. Um, might get to the third location there, which is along a busy highway. And I know there's a colony in the tree, but for that for there, I've got permission one to set, permission to set up a colony uh, swarm box. Um, just don't know how and where I'm going to mount it yet, so I'm going to go uh, scout that out today and get that done. Probably should have done it earlier, but I'm going to do that today. So for this video here, we're we're going on the road. So I've got ten swarm boxes. I plan I have plans for at least eight, maybe nine of them. I'm still waiting for some other uh, phone calls to come in uh, about potential other locations. But uh, just keep in mind there, if you catch a swarm um, in one of your boxes, uh, great. Find out where the colony came from. Um, it's a good story because if maybe you can look down, hey, there's we know there's a colony here. wasn't even uh, wasn't aware of it. it. Could be a, cut, a, cut, a potential cutout or just known lockdown location there. But one thing that I do with my swarm traps there when I set them up and I catch bees in them or am I permit, uh, permitted to do this. Um, whatever arrangements or agreements you have with the property owner, that's up to you. But I think as a good steward is when you get your honey crop in, give them honey. Um, that's what I've done in the past. I'm um, giving a, a large 24 ounce bear to the property owner, especially when I catch a swarm. That's been really good for me. Um, and it doesn't cost anything to the property owner there. They, uh, they appreciate it and basically it almost gives, uh, gives me a good opportunity to set the trap up the next year so keep that in mind also so and turn the camera off we're going to go ahead and get uh set up at another location or actually get everything loaded up we'll go down the road and go to the first location and set that colony up there a swarm trap up there so let's get moving Location of the second uh, feral colony. I know that the house right next door here, probably 30 feet away in the corner of the building. Um, last year, I'm, I've seen uh, bees coming and going. I, it's almost like a vacant house kind of thing. That there's bees in the corner of that structure there. So I know the property owner here. Uh, just talked to them. They allowed me to hang a trap up there. So we should be good. So it's baited with two brood burgers. Um, and lemongrass oil and everything else up there. So uh, this is Swarm Trap 6 Alpha 2. I forgot the name of the, the number of the last one. Um, so I'm gonna log this stuff down. As you see, we're by a busy highway here. Um, last year I called upon this location here for a little small micro swarm. I asked the property owners where it came from. He says, I got a bee, bee tree out front. So I went out, uh, check it out. Yep, there's bees coming and going. So I got his information. And uh, January, I asked if I could put the swarm trout out, lock down the location, he had not a problem. So today I'm out here. This is a swarm trap six alpha three. Um, don't see any activity from the tree. It might be still a little bit too cold today. It's probably in the mid 40s. Don't see really bees active or anything. So hopefully there's the colony still alive. Um, that's all I can hope for. So I'll keep checking on this thing, see if it works, uh, it pans out. Hopefully it does. Um, I still got other locations I got to uh, set traps up, up, but I think this might be it for today. 
Um, I'm going to go check one more area, which I know there's an active colony. I just never got permission to set the tra trap out. If they're good with it, I'll go ahead and set it up also. Um, but for today, I think this is about it. Um, to those who subscribe, thank you very much. I'm approaching my 400 subscribers, still building for it. Thank you for guys for doing that. Thanks for uh, liking my videos. Uh, this one here, like I said, this, this video here is my swarm traps in action. Um, hanging them in locations, what I'm baiting them with, um, just doing the starter strips in the colonies, seeing if the brood burgers actually work out. Uh, there's two in, there's, so for all the three that we hung today, there's th uh, two brood burgers in each one with a li some lemongrass oil on top of the frames. It, this is my trial thing. I, I put the videos to the unknown swarm lore. Let's see if it works out. So um, if you guys have uh, are trying it yourself there or trying to bait them with the brood burgers or the old, the old brood comb that you render down, um, slum gum as they also call it, uh, please let me know, send some comments down below and let me know if it worked for you or if you're trying it out. Um, it's a concept, but I, I can think of different things and have different ideas, but now let's try the scientific method and see if it actually works out. So sitting in next to the active colonies or where, where swarm feral colonies would be, uh, that's the purpose of these swarm traps. Um, sometimes I can't, with my work schedule, I can't get to all the calls or hey, there's a swarm here, swarm there. If I could set the things up and catch up, it saves me a lot of time easier. That's why I like using them. Um, so until the next video, Thanks from the Six Acre Farmstead. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.